Two things you must do to block monitoring spirits from monitoring you. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and thank you for your constant love and support towards the growth of the channel. May God bless you richly in Jesus name. In today's video, I'll be showing you two things you must do to block monitoring spirits from monitoring your progress or hindering it. In my previous video, I showed you two clear signs that indicate someone around you is a monitoring spirit. If you have watched that video and you suspect someone around you, then this video is going to help you get rid of those monitoring spirit. As we already know, monitoring spirits are testimony robbers. And agents of darkness that come sometimes disguised as friends to hinder people's blessing, so it is important to deal with them carefully. Do not joke with it. Most reoccurring problems are caused by monitoring spirit. I'll advise you to watch this video to the end and key into the prayer to evict every monitoring spirit in your life. God bless you. Ah, my dear, you've returned. What is it that you seek this time? I need your help to make Lucy lose her baby again. Very well, but to undo what has been done, we must act swiftly and with precision. You will need to find out how far along Lucy's pregnancy is and bring me an item that has touched her skin, a connection to tie the pregnancy down. Okay, I will do that as quick as possible. Just do your part and leave the rest to me. Thank you. Emma I didn't know you were coming. I would have asked you to meet me up at the shop. Oh, yeah, I was in the neighborhood so I decided to visit my friend. Are you going out? Yes I am, my mom came around yesterday. So we are going to the market together to buy some food stuff, after which we'll go see how things are going in my boutique. Oh that's great, it looks like you are really relaxing these days. Yes dear, after what happened the last time, I was advised to take a break from going to the shop often. So I don't overstress myself or the baby. I think you're right, you need that break. Lucy, I was just thinking about your baby. Do you know when the due date is? No, we've decided to keep it a surprise. Why do you ask? Well, since we don't know the due date, why don't we find out the sex of the baby together? And while we're at it, we can also find out when the baby is due. Then we can plan a baby shower to celebrate. That sounds like a wonderful idea, Emma. I'd love to have you there with me. Yeah, I can't wait to know the sex of my godchild too. So when will be convenient for you? We can go right away. I don't think it will be possible. I already told you that I'm going to the market with my mom she in the room waiting for me. Okay, maybe when you guys are back from the market, just give me a call. Okay, sure. Lucy, I've been meaning to ask you. Do you have a blue dress that I could borrow for a function I have over the weekend? Of course, Emma, I have a few blue dresses. Let me grab one for you. Thank you so much, Lucy. I really appreciate it. Don't mention, what are friends for? I have to get going now, I'll see you later. Okay, I'll call you. As Emma leaves, Lucy's mother, Mrs. Anderson, steps out from the adjoining room, her expression grave. She approaches Lucy with a sense of urgency, concern etched into her features. Lucy, dear, can I have a word with you? Of course, mom. What is it? Lucy, dear, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation with Emma. I need to express my concerns about sharing personal details like your due date and the baby's sex with others. Why is that, mom? Emma is my friend, I thought it would be harmless to share. I understand, sweetheart, but these are sensitive matters that should be kept confidential between you, your husband, and your doctor. Revealing such information to others, even friends, can pose risks to your safety and privacy. I hadn't considered that, mom. I'll be more cautious from now on. That's my girl. Your well-being and the safety of your baby are our top priorities. Remember, I'm always here for you, no matter what. It's been weeks now. I have been trying to reach Lucy to no avail. She has not been returning my calls and whenever I go to her house, he mom is always in the way. She doesn't even give us chance to gist. I'm running out of time. I need to gather those informations as soon as possible. I have her clothe with me already. But I need those informations too. What do I do now? 
But wait, could it be that Lucy is avoiding me? Why would her mom tell me she's sleeping anytime I go to see her? I know what to do. I'll keep an eye around her boutique, to see when she goes there. I must find a way to get that information from her. Oh Emma you're here, we need to talk, Lucy. It's been weeks, and you've been avoiding me like the plague. Emma, I, I've just been busy with work and other things. Don't give me that, Lucy. I know you've been avoiding me on purpose. What did I do to deserve this treatment? You didn't do anything wrong. You know my mom has been with me. So we have been catching up and having our time. Well, I won't take this lying down, Lucy. You can't just shut me out like this. We're supposed to be friends. Of course we are. So Lucy, are you still interested in the baby shower? And do you know your due date now? Emma, I'm sorry, but I've decided not to have a baby shower anymore. And as for the due date, I'd rather not discuss it. But, why, Lucy? We had everything planned. You can't just back out now. Emma, there are reasons why I need to be discreet about my pregnancy. I hope you can understand and respect my decision. Fine, Lucy, if that's what you want. But just know that I'm here for you, no matter what. The first way to block monitoring spirit for monitoring you is by disassociating with people who tend to always want to know things about you. When you notice a person is always asking sensitive questions and trying to be nosy all the time, try as much as you can to stay away from that person. Keep them at arm's length and if they come asking questions again, be bold enough to tell them that you don't want to talk about it. Tell them you want to keep things to yourself. You don't have to tell them the reasons why you're keeping things to yourself. But make them understand that you don't want to share information about yourself to anyone. If you don't tell them your secrets, they won't be able to know it and what they don't know, they can't spoil. Don't try to patronize them by letting them in. Give them space. If they come visiting, keep yourself busy and respectfully send them away. If you keep doing this, they will understand that you no longer want them around and they will stop coming. But I want you to know that it doesn't end there. They won't stop. They will possibly move to plan B which is what I'm about to show you now. So Lucy is now keeping secrets from me. What nonsense. Could it be that she is suspecting me? No, I don't think so. Maybe she is just tired of me coming around her. I will never ever go to her again. From now on, it's just me. I don't need anyone else. I will find another way to achieve my plan. I have to do this. I can't let her be with Tom. I couldn't get the information you asked for, but I managed to obtain the cloth from Lucy. Ah, the cloth. With that, we can't achieve what we desire. But we can deal with Lucy. What do you mean? With the cloth, we can end Lucy once and for all. Her fate will be sealed. How do we proceed? We will perform a ritual using the cloth as a conduit. Once the ritual is complete, Lucy will meet her demise, she will suddenly slump and die and you will have Tom for yourself. Let's do it. I'm ready to see Lucy pay for what she's done. Lucy, there's something I need to tell you. I've been having a recurring dream lately. What kind of dream, mom? In the dream, I see someone lurking outside your bedroom window, peering inside as if watching and waiting. It's been troubling me, Lucy. What do you think it means, mom? Lucy, I believe it's a sign, a warning. You need to be vigilant, especially now that you're pregnant. Pray fervently, my dear. That dream signifies the presence of a monitoring spirit, and we must protect you and the baby from harm. I will, mom. I'll pray every day to keep us safe. Please do, I'll also be praying for you. Spirits of darkness, heed our call. Bring forth Lucy's spirit, that we may end her existence forever. Let Lucy's essence be drawn to us. May her spirit be extinguished, and her presence banished from this world. Let her clothe be the conduit of our will. Bind Lucy to her fate, and let her suffer death. Lucy, your time has come. Your spirit will be torn from this realm, and you will cease to exist. Heavenly Father, thank you, God, for the life you gave me to be part of living souls today, all glory to your name in the name of Jesus. 
Heavenly Father have mercy on me, forgive me my sins, known and unknown. Father please protect me from the hands of the wicked. Any evil power monitoring my progress, go blind in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ I command every token or stature prepared in any hidden place, altar or shrine to monitor me and my progress to scatter right now by fire in Jesus' name. O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ set now on fire every stocks tied to me to take record of all of all my ways to report it to secret and wicked chambers now in Jesus' name. Every monitoring spirit targeted at my dwelling place, go back to sender in the name of Jesus. Every tree which my father has not planted in my life and family, monitoring my peace, catches fire in the name of Jesus. Every monitoring agent tampering with the success of my child shall die today in the name of Jesus. Powers of the night attacking my destiny, thunder fire of God, destroy them without recognition in Jesus' name. Every coven with my picture, catch fire in Jesus' mighty name. Every communication systems used by monitoring spirits over my life be destroyed in Jesus' name. I scatter all evil forces working against my progress and my success in the name of Jesus. Whoever has dug a pit against me shall fall into it in the name of Jesus Christ. What is happening? Something is interfering with the ritual. We must regain control. We can't let this stop us. Lucy's spirit must be ours to command. We're losing control. Ah, ah. Oh no, what is happening? I can't see, I can't see anything. Help, help. I am going blind. Help. I commit my life and that of my unborn child into your hands O God. I stand on your word in. Psalms 91 verse 3 and 4. Surely he will save me from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover me with his feathers, and under his wings I will find refuge, his faithfulness will be my shield and rampart. Affliction shall not arise the second time, when the time is due, my voice and that of my child will be heard. Isaiah 54 verse 17. No weapon forged against me will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that accuses me. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. My baby and I should not die, we shall love to proclaim the good works of the Lord in our lives in Jesus' name. Father Lord, I thank you for answering my prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Days later, the news of Emma's blindness started making rounds. She confessed to trying to kill her friend Lucy. Meanwhile weeks later, Lucy put to bed a set of twins. Lucy learned her lessons and vowed to be more discreet and careful in the future. The second way to block monitoring spirits is through powerful warfare prayers. When they no longer have physical access to know and to get informations, they go spiritual and diabolical. And of course we know that our battle is not of the flesh. To defeat the enemy in a spiritual battle, you have to go spiritual too. If you ever suspect someone to be a monitoring spirit, take up their matter to God in prayer and block them spiritually. Every demonic spirit monitoring our progress to destroy it, may they be consumed by heavenly fire in Jesus' name. May they go blind, deaf and dumb in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching, please share this video out for more visibility. Also kindly support the channel by hitting on the subscribe button below, like our video, leave your contributions or experience in the comments section below and remember to turn on post notifications to the channel for more interesting and life-changing videos. In case you missed the first part of this video, check the comments section below. The link will be pinned there. Please go watch it for better understanding of how this video started, which is two clear signs someone around you is a monitoring spirit. May God bless and keep you safe in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.